Okay, so our lesson today is going to be having to do with um, death and when death occurs in the family and how we refer to that. And I apologize if this lesson comes on the heels of anyone um, who recently lost a family member and we certainly is not our intent to be uh, insensitive to that. Um, but I thought it was a good education. We just found out about um, someone that we had associated with uh, for many, many years who died, and it's what made me think of um, presenting this lesson. So the way we say that someone died is different for masculine and feminine. In the masculine, il est mort, he is dead. And in the feminine, elle est morte. She is dead. See the difference is there. Il est mort, elle est morte. When we refer to the day you're born, and this has to do with what you might see on um, in a cemetery, uh, the, the day that someone was born, the day that they died. Uh, if it's Oftentimes, if it's written in French, if you find some older cemeteries, it's going to be Né, which refers to the born, the day they were born. Décidé, the day they deceased. So you'll see those two dates oftentimes with Né and the day they were born, and Décidé, the day they were, that they died. If we refer to the body, c'est le corps. Le corps. We're referring just to the body. To bury is to enterrer. See the root word ter, dirt, ground. So it presumes burial in the ground, enterrer. The actual burial service itself is l'enterrement, which is actually le enterrement, blended because you have double vowels there, l'enterrement. This is, uh, doesn't have to do with uh, death itself, but uh, it's in uh, many Cajun um, deaths and funerals, very, very important. C'est le chapelet, the rosary. Uh, that's something that's oftentimes done in uh, Catholic and Cajun funerals. Some other things that are important to know. À quelle heure ils vont ouvrir? À quelle heure ils vont ouvrir? At what hour will they open? Referring to the funeral home. Another important thing to know. À quelle heure est l'enterrement? At what hour or at what time is the burial? More things to know. À quelle heure est le chapelet? At what time is the rosary? À quelle heure? I have to, I'm having trouble. À quelle heure ils vont fermer? At what hour will it close? And in the old days, we know that oftentimes they wouldn't close. Ils vont, ils vont pas fermer uh, because they used to wake the body uh, and stay with the, the body overnight, sometimes two nights. So, the body, c'est le corps. The soul, we refer to as âme. If you're going to say the soul, l'âme. The sucre is the casket. Sucre casket. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that just right. Sucre. When you're referring to the dead, a couple of ways you can say it. He is dead. Il est mort. He died. Il a mouru. Uncle Joe, who died, if you're referring to him, you would say, Défunt non Joe. Défunt non Joe. Referring to someone who had died. And then our final thing we're going to talk about is la chair. And the reason I bring that up is I always tie this back to the prayers. And 
in the prayer of the Apostles' Creed at the very end when it says, uh, Je crois le Saint-Esprit, le Saint-Église catholique, le communion de sang, la rémission de péché, la résurrection de la chair. We know in English that refers to the resurrection of the body, la chair, but we know we just refer to the body as le corps. So what is la chair? It actually means the flesh and by default refers to the body. But in that prayer, they use the word la résurrection de la chair, so the resurrection of the flesh. So they refer to the body in that manner. So that's our little lesson today. I'm sure you'll know some other words that are affiliated with death and burial, uh, more importantly, resurrection, for me at least. So if you uh, think of some of those, you want to share them down below, please do. Um, that's our little lesson for today. Hope it wasn't too long.